the head coach of the football program at San Diego State, our good friend Brady Hoke, back with us here on Extra. Coach, good morning. How are you? Doing great. How are you doing? I hope you and John are, are uh, staying healthy and safe. And I do want to throw a uh, shout-out to Judson and his wife on their first, uh, their first child. It, Brady, it's scary how much the the little boy looks like Judson, and we're all hoping and praying that inevitably he looks like Lauren. But for the time being, spitting image there of uh, of Dad. We hope to get Judson on the air tomorrow or, or Friday for the update on uh, on being a new father. Brady, you're the father. Yeah. You're a, you're the father not only to to your wonderful daughter Kelly, but about a hundred different guys in any given point of the season as a head football coach at a major college university. What's it been like for you? I just just keeping tabs on guys when normally you'd be seeing them face to face. Well, you know, we I think the coaches and uh, the staff and, and our players um, really have done a nice job. We we've got different meetings going on constantly throughout the day. Uh, we have a team meeting when I get off the air here, and so we'll have. Uh, about 99 guys uh, on a Zoom meeting. And just number one, Mike, we want to make sure everybody's healthy, Mm -hmm. everybody's safe, that our players, parents, grandparents are all healthy and safe. And also with the academic year coming to a close, making sure that we have that that good push at the end. And uh, guys have done a nice job. Uh, to this point and so we want to finish strong and then obviously the football end of it we're we're doing a lot of different things that way to keep them engaged and also uh, you know teach what we wanted to teach during the, the the spring phase that we really only got six practices out of Coach, I'm having a hard time staying in shape during the pandemic, to be honest with you. Um, how are your guys staying in shape? Like, how, how are they able to get creative at home, knowing that uh, hopefully we'll have football coming up this fall? Yeah, well, that's a great question. Uh, 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 Adam Hall, our strength coach, who I think is by far uh, one of the top guys in this country, every Sunday night he, he has a uh, video that he sends out of different ways to – keep their conditioning, gain some strength. Uh, Some of the players have the ability to go to uh, somebody's house and use a weight room or whatever, but a lot of them don't. So there's a lot of creative things that our guys are doing. Uh, They sent us some uh, videos that were uh, absolutely hilarious. We had an (laughs) offensive lineman who was squatting his mother. uh, And it just – Some of the different things the kids have done have really been uh, neat to see and inspiring. And and they they sent messages to their teammates uh, uh, regarding what they were doing. And and then obviously the video message was pretty cool. So it it really is. Our guys have done a good job. Adam has done a good job of weekly, every Sunday night. Uh, He'll take a backpack and, and put rocks in it or some sort of weight in it and come up with different ways to use body weight as, as you would um, with reps as you would with being in a weight room. You know, Coach, my 40 time from the couch to the pantry and back to the couch has gotten really good in the midst of wow. this uh, this pandemic. Now, I'm sure you're really taking care of that body. Right? <laughs> and, and I, think, I think everybody can see that whenever they see you. It looks like a big mound of melting vanilla ice cream. Brady, uh, listen, oh. you, you can have all the, the Zoom meetings and, you know, the guys tuning in via computer and you're on the whiteboard and stuff, but you know this as well as anybody. Nothing is going to replicate let's say with you and your defensive line group on the field, when you're teaching technique, you're going through reps, you're going through different different things where you can immediately correct there on the spot. When you guys do get back on the field, and hopefully it's sooner than later, are you worried about any sort of catch-up factor because of it? Well, you know, I, you look at different models, and, and we had a Mountain West uh, head coaches meeting yesterday, and uh, talking about the different concepts that we may have to deal with if it's eight weeks, six weeks, four weeks, um, it, uh, as far as trying to get a team back ready. Uh, number one, you've got to hope and believe that 
that your team and your players are, are uh, taking advantage of some time and uh, constantly uh, thinking about, you know, their, their conditioning and their physical shape. Um, you know, obviously as a coach, there's technique and fundamentals you want them to be working on. And, and I think most of our guys are doing a really good job with that. But, it, Mike, it, there's so many unknowns right now. We just have to be prepared. You know, great mm-hmm. teams uh, are defined in the present, not the past. So what we're doing today will we'll have a big outcome on how we, how we uh, play when the season does get started. By the way, Aztec season tickets available right now at GoAztecs.com. They started $155. That is less than last year. They include home games against UCLA, Hawaii, Colorado State, and that KGB Sky Show game. Coach, this is a big weekend for some of your former players with the draft. I mean, guys like Keith Ishmael and Kiava and Luke Barku. Uh, How excited are you for them uh, to have an opportunity to potentially realize their dreams this weekend? Well, it's always an exciting, you know, uh, time. And and, and it will be you know, different, obviously, uh, because of uh, the hoopla and all that isn't going to be there as much. But it, it, for them, and it will be interesting to see where guys end up. And it, it will be interesting, you know, to see uh, some of those guys, you know, may not get drafted, but they could be really good and uh, free agents for, for different teams. And that's the one thing that we – You know, we we always want to be open with the guys uh, from the National Football League and try and help our guys uh, as much as we can. But it it could be exciting for all all three of those guys, as you mentioned. Brady, you you sent a ton of guys into uh, into the NFL. The ones that ask for advice from you, is it the same message? I mean, do you have one overriding message for a, a young guy going into the NFL for the first time? Yeah, you do. I mean, it's it's. You know, I, I had the uh, great opportunity a year or two years ago of, of coaching Julius Peppers. And hmm. you talking about a professional. And, and my brother was uh, in the NFL for 17 years, and he, he had the opportunity to, to coach with the Bears when Julius was there. And he had told me, he said, you're never going to find a more professional guy. And, and I can tell you, John and Mike, uh, he sat in the front row, took every note, everything that I talked about. And the, the funny thing is he had been in the same defense for eight years. And so he knew everything we were doing, but he took notes. He would ask questions. He would lead. And I, I talk about him a lot uh, in our defensive line room and with our team. Uh, him and Charles Woodson probably were, were the most professional guys that I really had a, an opportunity to be around. And, you know, just it, it's a job now. And it's a job that you've got to take seriously. And the guys who do are the guys who stick. And that probably is the biggest message that I give them. Coach, uh, when do, when do you start looking at opponents? Like when do you start concentrating on? Hey, it's going to be early September. We open with Sacramento State. Is it ever too early to look at a potential opponent for uh, the next season? Yeah, we well, our coaches on, on both sides of the ball, and then Doug Deacon in our special teams. Uh, we have broke down the first three opponents, so uh, mm-hmm. we, we've uh, uh, looked at them. We'll start game planning. Uh, probably in the next two weeks once the academic year gets uh, finished. But uh, our coaches, we, you know, you have to be prepared. You know, preparation is everything. Uh, who knows when uh, we're going to get back to uh, face-to-face and, and all those kind of things and being able to be with our guys and coach them. But it really is uh, something that you, you continue to do. You know, the coaches are meeting twice a week as a, a positional meetings, but, you know, we have an offense and defensive team meeting, and then we have a, a normal team meeting. So uh, our, the, the coaches are doing a great job of feeding them the information and, and looking at uh, those opponents, but also uh, going back through the spring. You know, the one thing only happens six practices now, 
we had six weeks of winter conditioning in walkthroughs, but there's a lot of offense situational things that Jeff uh, Hecklinski hasn't been able to install. Uh, our screen game would be one of them. Uh, you know, North Turner came down and met with us uh, as an offensive group and uh, uh, really talked about his screen game. And then defensively, we kept uh, a lot of the defense intact. Uh, Coach Maddox, Kurt, has done a great job. He, he's studied the defense for 10 years. And uh, so feel, feel really good there. Now, there's a couple things when you look at situational football that Kurt will do differently, and those are the things we're trying to get through installs in our meetings right now. Uh, once you guys are back out on the field, are you and Jeff anticipating a pretty stout quarterback battle? Well, I think we will. I think, you know, I think all over our team, you look at the running backs and the numbers, and, uh, you know, a lot of those guys all have touched the ball at some point uh quarterback is no different you know we, we've got a uh gonna have a heck of a battle and competition and competition makes us better and so we look forward to that and, and uh, i know coach heck is uh looking forward to it also brady always appreciate the time hope that uh, laura and kelly are, are doing well your family is doing well as well and again the abnormal is normal right now and uh, just keep navigating it. Cannot wait to see you guys back out on the field. Cannot wait for this season to get here. Thank you, Coach. Well, we want you to stay healthy and well. And all those in the Aztec Nation out there, you know, everybody stay healthy and make sure we're doing the right things. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, guys.